All right, part two. Uh, we're going to continue where we left off. Um, you'll see that uh, our stairway, we have uh, increased the five risers. The risers are not open, which would mean that the, there's no kick plates, uh, toe kicks. Um, the total rise is still three feet. Um, tread depth uh, is going to be one feet, two and a half inches. Uh, overhangs going to be half an inch. Um, what that normally should be is about 11 inches. Um, we will uh, click on number three and let's just do it. Um, we look there. Now everything looks accurate. It's directly up to the top of the stairs. Okay. Alright, got 3 foot 6 inches. That should actually be 3 foot 4, so I'm going to bring that down 2 inches. I don't know exactly what they bring things down. Alright, now we're going Alright, sorry about that. This is part two of the sketch. We're going to continue on with the stairs right here. Put the properties where we were at. You'll notice that uh, we've got no angled treads. Uh, we are uh, five treads now, five, five stair risers. They're not open. Seven, seven, seven three sixteenths is our number. Uh, that can be a maximum of seven and a half inches in our area. Uh, that's an international IBC code. Uh, Total rise is three foot. If we click out of here and go to a, a 3D view, okay, number three, move over, zoom in here. You'll notice that we're perfectly on with our uh, top right here. Okay. Notice this wall is taller than it should be. Uh, if our ceiling height is across through here, we can change that. Let's do this. Look at that, and the Properties. We got box ceiling height. It's calculating it at a 10 foot 10 inch. And what we want is the top to be at uh, 10 foot. Well, here comes an image of the picture. We don't want that to be at 8 feet 8 inches. Okay. Put our top a little bit shorter than normal. Alright. Go back to a 3D view. Everything is the same height now. Did you get around the corner here? Okay. So I'm going to do is pull a room into here. The control and drag a room in. Inside of this room should be. Three foot four. So the elevation comes ten foot one inch. Our over has some dead space in here. We have three foot eight inches out here. So let's pull a room into the room. And this inch. And in this inside of this room, we have a slope ceiling. So I start off at eight foot eight inches, and it's going to end up at two feet. Uh, which one's in the versus eight foot eight inches. Two feet. I go to three. You see how it's focused the wrong direction there. What we do is hit escape, go back to this room here. Let's title it as under stairs. Leave a label. The 
It's not a sub room. Let's grab our orientation. And flip our orientation the other direction. Let's see what we did wrong here. Oh, 12 foot 8. That's what happened. 8 foot 8 inches. And we got everything perfectly the way it should be. Alright. So I had a doorway in here. Flip it. There's a doorway in here. Flip that. There's a doorway here. Flip that again. This one's three feet. Alright, I need to add some doorways over here. Add a doorway. Flip it around. And there's a bathroom. Go to the room closet. You can select the properties and it's going to go to a bifold door. Another way of doing that, you can go over here to that doorway and grab the type of door. It's automatically going to stay on that particular door style until you change it. So I do want to leave it on standard unless I'm doing a lot of bifolds. Zoom out and see everything here. Everything looks accurate. One thing I need to do is add a wall in the bathroom. So I'm going to hit the Shift W and add our wall in here at three foot two inches. That's where our dimension should be. Add two foot eight inch right back on yourself and end the wall. Move that to go down. Say foot one. I don't like that about Save Activate because they don't allow you to move those walls properly. And we have a 5 foot area here for our shower. And something that's really cool, I like to estimate and sketch as much as possible because it'll add the images. Okay, So if we go with toilet, we can actually set a toilet and hit your tab button and it'll bounce it around to the direction that it goes. And toilet with a vanity. Your escape key, and right now you have vanity on there. You put your escape key and you lose that. You put two inches. Let's go with a shower. I'll go top. Put your tab button, let's bounce it around again. Escape key, and we lose it. So there's our bathroom layout. Now you can also add in your uh, sink. So let's go with the uh, one sink with some marble. We'll add this in here. There's the key. Let's try it in the proper direction. Underneath this reference here, we clicked on it and check on our behavior. What it's going to do is this whole uh, remove area, if you're painting the walls in this bathroom and you don't want to calculate those dimensions underneath of it or behind it, you can select it to intentionally not do that. However, what happens is it's also not going to calculate any drywall or insulation or anything else that you put in that you're going to calculate just the wall square footage. It's going to remove everything behind it. What I would rather you do is not leave this all as, uh, as no, let it, um, let, it, let it include everything behind it and under it, and then you can go in and change those dimensions if you need to. But what I look at is you're painting all the walls. If you have to cut around that cabinet that's in there, it takes you more time to cut around it and labor than it does to paint where it's at. So I would leave it and let the adjusters criticize you over that because you're already spending more time than if that cabinet wasn't in your way. Let's see if we can move this on top of it. Uh, 
add this around. Put the faucet in here. Shift tab and drop it the other direction. Laid out. Uh, if you select a room and hit Control Shift R, it'll bring up those that uh, box that we deleted, um, and you can X out of it again by here. And that gives you more room for your sketch. I prefer to do that when I'm doing a sketch, especially a big area. You want to be able to see everything. But so you have to select a room, Control Shift R, and bring it back up. Now it's going to show you the items that are on that room. So if you select a room, it'll show you that currently here we have already included to remove and replace all those items. Now you can quickly change the action by just replacing, detach from set, wherever it be. In this case, the faucet, the vanity top, toilet, vanity, the bathtub is only in here to see it. So what I would do is take it to zero. So we're not actually calculating it at all. Okay. If you're calculating any roll flooring, you really need to estimate from sketch. It will calculate it more accurately than calculating it from the estimate items tab. All right. This concludes this video series on sketch, but we'll come back and do another video on estimating from sketch and roll uh, and roll sheet goods. Thank you very much.